Hello gang, SharpShot21 here. Just bringing you a quick update on what's been going on with the Vorons. Been doing some final mods and upgrades to it. I will put links in the description to all the parts that I printed for modding. Uh, some of them are quite useful, other ones are just for me, or at least I find utility for them. It's not quite done, I've got two more parts to print, but other than that, it is pretty much as done as I think it's going to get. I might tweak it a little bit here and there. Um, actually, I've got more than two. I've got like six parts to print, but I have to design a couple of them. Anyways, it's pretty much done. Done enough to where it's going to move to probably its general home. Um, and then we can finish off on the... Uh, V0. I've got a couple things I want to do to that. And then that one might be going up for sale. Um, just because it's about the right size, but it's not quite the right size for what I need. I need one that's a little taller. And with the 0 0.1, which just came out, that makes it a little easier to make it taller. Uh, so I'll probably be building one of those this summer. I may or may not go through that process with you guys. Uh, I do plan on doing a switch wire this summer as well. So we'll see how that goes, but let's get into the 2-4. Okay, so first thing you're going to notice is I put these slot covers in on pretty much every slot, uh, front and back. Um, I don't have some for here, I don't know if I'm going to do those yet. The back rails, um, only have the bottom section, the tops, I need to... Um, print some slightly shorter ones. This side hasn't done any. Again, I don't know if I will or not. Um, I did also print some hold-down clamps for the sides here. So that's been helpful. Um, something that I just added. I don't know if you'll be able to... There it is. As I put a mount for a Logitech um, C270. I've also adjust, I've printed a new faceplate for it with a focus adjustment so I can actually get it focused on the bed. The exposure is a little bit high with all the lights on, um, so I may look at a way to dim that down just slightly. And then if I home the X and Y axis here, We'll see some of the last ones that I've done. I haven't implemented these yet, but it is going to be something handy to have, I think. Um, one of them is this removable purge bucket, and it's associated brass brush. It's for cleaning the nozzle off when you do change filaments. Uh, and there's a strip for that included. In addition, the part comes with, um, I don't know if we're doing, there it is, it comes with uh, mounts for three little screws if you've got the self-tappers, um, which I don't think you actually need for this build, you need for the V0 build, they're the perfect screws for this, and what it lets you do is just slide in your build plate so it hits those and drops. I have two empty rail covers there that I need to print off. And then as I mentioned, the rails on the top back here don't have their covers, but I need to print some of those. Um, in addition to that, I'd like to print a little cover that goes here just to hold that in on each side. Um, and then we're pretty much done. Oh, uh, let me grab a little flashlight here. So that little block, and there's a mirrored one on that side, I've designed up. Um, I will see if I can get them included in the uh, Voron Printers mod file on the GitHub. They're just little wire covers. I've also done one right here, and that one's holding the wire for the webcam. Uh, the webcam wire comes in is in this cable channel, slot cover, comes down through here, 
it stops about seven millimeters high there, enters into this block, and then exits down through that little hole right there. Um, one other thing that I've done is I've swapped out the standard Voron um, filter housing with the Bowden tube adapter on the top and the back to one where it's on the side. That way I can get the printer right up against the wall. Um, that has been quite useful. I'm also probably going to print off a different um, reverse Bowden holder for here just so that it steps it off a little bit. And if I'm tricky with how I do it, it'll be one that can go on both sides. And I'll try to get that up in the GitHub as well. Um, I've also finished hooking up the exhaust fan. I haven't put the, the script in for that just yet either. Um, the purge bucket does have a built-in script and the option to uh, make it as a menu option there as well, so that's quite handy. Um, yeah, so I think that's it. All right, so quick little overview of what I've changed on the uh, 2.4 so far. I may or may not print off the cool back panel um, Voron logo and I will be designing at some point a serial number tag that hangs off of the back as well. Um, I will let you guys know when I get those printed up. And yeah, that's that's pretty much it. Uh, I don't like the one that the serial number tag that you get from doing a serial request on the Discord just because it's not a two color one. Um, so I'm going to probably design something up that bolts in from the bottom on that back uh, extrusion and is a dual color blue with black lettering um, part. So I'll give you one more update when that gets done and then we might go through some of the stuff that I printed with this um, just because I know some people ask, you guys probably have had this question asked as well, what are printers good for? Well, there's all sorts of handy things you can make with them. Um, some stuff is more visible than others, and some stuff is one of those, when you just need a part right now, have a part. So, thanks for tuning in, thanks for watching, hope to see you next time. Sharps out. Thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please hit the like and subscribe buttons. It really helps me out and it lets you know when I put something new up. New videos will be going up on Tuesdays or Thursdays at 8 a.m. Eastern. And if I do decide to do live streams, I will try to give 24 hours notice. So hit the subscribe button on the channel and you'll be notified when I post that stuff too. Hope to see you next time. Sharps out.